this is uh, election week. Get out and vote if you haven't. They have early voting in Georgia. My wife and I went and voted about a week or so ago, actually. No lines, and uh, that's the best thing they've ever come up with is this early voting. I'm out, out of town on Tuesday, Election Day, anyway, so I had to do that. And it, uh, so the early voting works out good. And of course, this is an important midterm election. No matter what your political persuasion, I think it's important you go out and cast your vote. In Georgia, we have a pretty contentious governor's race this year. We have a Republican running who's the current Secretary of State, very conservative guy. And we have a Democrat running who's a African-American woman who's seeking to become the first African-American female governor of any state in the country. So it's got some national attention this past weekend. Vice President Pence was here, Oprah Winfrey was here, and tomorrow Donald Trump is uh, coming to campaign with the Republican. You know, like Stoney said in his last video, I'm a little disillusioned with all the politics <laughs> that's going on now, and all the rhetoric on both sides. The country does seem to be as divided as it's ever been, at least in my lifetime, and I've been around a while. No matter what your uh, political leanings are, it's important you get out and cast your vote. Because if you don't vote, you don't have a right to complain about anything. You know, one good thing about being uh, Catholic is uh, you can go to church on Saturday night, and that fulfills your obligation for Sundays. So I've got all day today available since I went last night. And, you know, one quick thing before I get off this topic, uh, you know, the reading in last night's mass was the, the story in the gospel where the scribes come up to Jesus and they say, what, what's the greatest commandment? And he said, well, really there's two commandments that are most important. First of all is that you love your God with all your heart and all your strength. And I think if everybody in this world did that, no matter which God they worship or what religion they are, that would be a good thing. And the other commandment is to love your neighbor as yourself. And I think if uh, we all did that, especially in, that, in this country, and took that to heart, I don't think we'd have uh, the political climate we have right now. So that's my two cents worth on how to cure the ills that uh, beset this country right now. Also, another good thing probably would help uh, at least calm down the political rhetoric and the um, intensity of the emotions around politics would be uh, don't spend so much time on Facebook and Twitter. Because that seems to be a platform where people really uh, tend to get upset about things. So enough about that. stops around here and they have a lot, they're replacing them with traffic circles, which I think is better riding a couple of weeks ago and I had the right of way. I was on a road like this and a side road came up. The guy had a stop sign. He came up. He stopped completely and I swear he looked right at me. Older gentleman in a big Cadillac. And I'm always cautious around intersections anyway so I was covering my brakes and kind of slowing down anyway. But he pulled right out in front of me. And I, I jammed on both my brakes, and I was able to stop, and I did not hit him, but I did lock down my rear brake and skid a little bit, and this older motorcycle here does not have the anti-lock brakes, <laughs> and that was one time when I wished I would have uh, been on a newer bike that had them. And, I, you know, why he pulled out right in front of me, I, I don't know. You know, maybe he thought I was going to turn. I know he saw me, because he looked at me he was older, maybe he just wasn't a, a good judge of speed. But just a, just a reminder, you know, when you come up on these uh, intersections, just be ready for that to happen, because uh, it happens a lot. 
You know, this morning when I was uh, waiting for it to warm up a little bit, I made myself a cup of coffee and went out on my back patio. Uh, I just sat on a chair and relaxed a little bit. And one of the things I really love about this new house that we just built, it's in a neighborhood, but we picked out a lot that backs up to a wooded area. And you go out on our back patio and all you see is the woods. And I took a little video of the view. Let's take a look at it. So that's pretty nice. Don't see any neighbors. Our old house, we were in a neighborhood and although we had a lot of landscaping and trees, there were still you know, houses all around us. And we don't have that in this neighborhood, and I really like that. My wife has been busy landscaping, and she's planted a line of holly trees along the, our backyard, on each side of our backyard, to they'll eventually grow up and give us even some more privacy in the backyard, and it's going to be really nice. So we're, you know, we're all pretty much moved in. We still have some boxes to unpack. My wife's still refinishing some furniture that she bought at some estate sales, but it is, uh, it's nice to be in and uh, moved in. I don't really have a topic for today, but I do have a question I'm going to pose to everyone. I'm going to let uh, you guys uh, make your thoughts known by uh, commenting on this video. Last March, I believe it was, I was out in Arizona working with a client out there, and it turned out they were right next to an Eagle Rider motorcycle rental place and I rented that Road King for the day and uh, rode around Arizona a little bit. Well, I've got one more trip out there to see this client in early December. I think it's December the 10th or 11th. I've got to go out and make a presentation to their board on the work that we've done with them this past year. And uh, it's really just a, a one-day trip. I'm flying out. I'm going to make this presentation, give them a little training on the software we're providing them and then that's really it, but I'm thinking about maybe extending my trip a day or two, and as a small treat to myself for finishing the work with this client, which was quite extensive this year. I made several trips, and it was a lot of work, but good client. Everything came out well, so I think about staying an extra couple of days and going back to this Eagle Rider and, and uh, renting a motorcycle for maybe a day or two, and taking a trip around Arizona, probably more in southern Arizona, Phoenix, than the northern Arizona. In December, it starts to get kind of cold, and the weather can kind of be iffy. I'd like to go to the Grand Canyon, but I don't know if that's a good idea that time of year. But this place that I rented before, they have a full complement of Harley-Davidson's Harley you can rent. Really, any, any model you want. They also have some uh, other motorcycles. They have some BMWs and some sport touring type motorcycles. I think they have some Yamahas, you know, maybe FGR 1300. You know, the BMW 1600 and 1200 touring bikes. So I really hadn't thought about what I want to maybe rent for a day or two. But I'll throw it out there to you guys, what, what you would like to see, because whatever I do, rent, of course, I'll... I'll film the ride and review the bike, whatever one I happen to choose. I'll let you guys help me pick it out. Uh, just leave a comment on this video. Tell me what you might want to, what kind of bike you would like to see me ride in Arizona this December. I'm not guaranteeing that I'm going to do this, but uh, I'm pretty sure I will. And uh, if you've got one out there that uh, maybe I didn't mention, go ahead and say it anyway. Maybe I can find one out there at another place. But just let me know. I think it'll be kind of uh, kind of cool to get your guys' comments and see what uh, see what motorcycle you would like to see me ride. It doesn't really matter to me. I'll ride anything. Except I'm not going to get on some uh, leader sport bike, some Hayabusa or something. <laughs> I'm not going to do that. I've ridden some sport bikes before, and uh, 
the comfort level for this old man just uh, is not there. I've never really ridden any of the sport touring bikes like the Yamaha FJR 1300 or the say the BMW 1200. I've never ridden those, and I don't know how comfortable they might be or might not be. They don't look all that comfortable to me, but eh, maybe I should try one out. So leave a comment. Let me know. All right, I'm headed for home. Hope you enjoyed coming along this nice, uh, cool November morning ride with me. I know I didn't have uh, any real topics, but uh, please do let me know what kind of bike you want to see me ride out in Arizona, and I'll announce the uh, winner in a future vlog and and uh, post some nice videos from Arizona this December. Hope everyone has a great day. This is George Ramblin' Man, rambling back into Casa Day Ramblin' Man. And actually, a spot in the garage. And what could be better than this?